What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Good Goddess Journey. I'm your host, Deuce Bella, the Good Goddess. You already know what's going on. Um, I wanted to come back and do a follow-up on the reading that I did for the Divine Masculine's Karmic. So I came back because that was very uh, uh, urgent message for the collective, and I wanted to get that out quick. Um, and I didn't want the video to be long. So I'm going to see... Um, this like i said this might not be round this might not happen might not happen might not have happened yet but it may have be may be happening soon okay so take it as it resonates everything's not going to happen exactly how i said or it's not gonna um everybody's story is different all right so i want to see what's going on between the karmic and divine masculine with that situation with her trying to kill him. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Give me insight spare on that situation. We have despair. So it looks like the divine masculine is in despair. Or this could be the karma. We'll find out who is who in just a second. More on the situation, spirit. We have change. Yeah. Some shit has happened. Or will happen. We have pathway. And we have journey on the bottom of the deck. I'm not going to take no more cards. Spirit said that's it. So we got four cards on the board. Let me see what's underneath journey. And then we have courthouse and message of concern. So remember, message of concern came out in the last reading with the urgent reading um, about the karmic trying to plot to kill the divine masculine or poison him. So now I feel as though he may be taking her to court and he may be leaving her once he sees that what went down was a setup. Because look, we have waiting and then we have room right here. While I'm trying to shuffle, we have waiting. It's like she was waiting on something. And look, what fell out, my lady. It's a masculine in here, sick. And then we have messenger right here. It's like she's getting she's getting a message from this masculine that he's leaving her. And she could also be getting read her rights by um the police. Okay. Because he looks like a police officer. Spirit, give me some more insight. Clarify a little bit more. Look at this. Death. She tried to kill this man, y'all. Like, I cannot make this shit up, even if I wanted to. And then we have surprise. If you told your demas divine mask of the masculine, if you told your divine masculine and he did not believe you, his ass was taken by surprise when that shit went down. Like, he was surprised that that shit fucking happened. And now he's in despair because he did not believe you. It's like this bitch was trying to make him her, um, make him her servant or something. Clarify this change. We have consolation now he's asking god for a new for a new start he's he's praying to god for some change yeah look at this lord he is asking god i am he's telling god i will change my ways i will i will listen i will do what's right i will i will do i will go by the book <laughs> okay i will take that journey look we got journey and journey i will go on the pathway to the light the divine masculine is like, oh my fucking god! He's in, he's he's shocked because he realized that his life, his life, his life was being um being on, was put on the line. Like his life was put on the fucking line. He's like, I will take I will take that path 
towards enlightenment. I, 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 I see where you was trying to get me, where you was trying to tell me what I needed to do. He's ready to get on that fucking journey. Look, because look, on the bottom of this, misfortune. And then we have priests. But this bitch, this is, I feel like this is the fake ass, um, this is the karmic pretending to be a fake ass spiritualist, fake ass um, healer, or fake ass nurturer, when she's really devious as fuck, had him in the fucking bed sick. In the hospital bed, at home sick. He has to be at home. Laid up taking medication because this bitch tried to poison his ass. And now they have to pump that shit out of him. Or he has to do stuff to get that shit out of his system. Drinks a lot, Drink a lot of fluids. A, a big misfortune for this masculine here. Now he's ready to take the path <laughs> to enlightenment. I told y'all these divine masculines love to learn the hard way. They just love to learn the hard way. And you know what? This divine masculine could have been like this in the past life, but this is a lifetime he's actually going to get it right because he's choosing the pathway to enlightenment. We have cons consolation. Yeah, he's asking God for forgiveness and he's asking God for another chance because he was taken by surprise. Like he literally was taken by surprise that this bitch really tried to kill him. But he was looking, he was looking at superficial shit when it came to this relationship. Look. But he he's 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 biting the bullet and choosing his strength because he realized he missed out on the opportunity to fuck around with this bitch who ain't got no life in her. Four of cups, look at this bitch. She ain't got no life in her and he just laid up with all the life in him. And she's sucking him fucking dry. Whew. Spirit, give me some insight on what went down. What has went down between this karmic and this divine masculine? Because all I see is masculines here. <laughs> it's a man right here, a man right here. This is God. A man right here. Death. A man right here. A man right here. It's all men. Yeah, he 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 found out the truth. Ace of Swords. And he had he found it out the hard way. This is the divine bringing in this truth. He didn't want to listen to the divine feminine. And he was surprised and shocked by that shit. Queen of Swords. This is the bitter bitch. Give me more insight on the situation and what went down. Yeah, Eight of Cups. He didn't want to listen to the truth to walk away. He wanted to stick around for whatever reasons. Yeah, with this bitch. You see she got the gun in her hand and she got the trap right here. It's like she'll she'll make herself look good, look cute, look seductive, but the bitch don't clean up. You see, she got cans right here. She probably drink, got a drinking problem. Um, she got the wall, she got the windows boarded up. Like she can't, she ain't gonna let this nigga leave. She got the gun ready to shoot his ass. She got a smile on her face, like nigga, I wish you would try to motherfucking leave me. That's how she is. And she she look. Five of one, she started conflict with this man because he wanted to leave. He wanted to walk away. Eventually, he was going to leave this situation. He was just trying to ease his way out of here. And God said, no, ain't no easing your way out of this shit. You need to deal with this shit because you've been, you've been trying to ease for, for, for years. And that shit ain't getting you nowhere. Um, give me insight on this Ace of Swords. Talk about this Ace of Swords. Yeah, we have the lovers. He found the truth out about his lover. Both of them, whether it's the divine feminine or the karmic, he found the truth out on who's who and who's really for him and who isn't for him. He found the truth out. Clarify this eight of cups. Eight of wands. Yeah. I don't know if he got his shit. We're going to clarify. Yeah, but we got the sun on the bottom of the deck. It's like he's ready to fucking leave towards his happiness. He's ready to walk away now. Um, yeah, he's ready to walk away. And this shit happened so fucking fast. If, if It happened quick as fuck. As soon as he denied what you was trying to tell him, he, he, he went back into la-la motherfucking land. And... 
that shit happened. And look, on the bottom of the deck, we got a fool. The nigga was a fool. He went home jolly as fuck with the bitch. Or he went towards her jolly as fuck like he about to do some shit, wine and dine her, make her look good. But this bitch was already setting him up for the kill. You see this graveyard? He walking straight in the graveyard. He's walking in the graveyard, not even knowing that that bitch is a motherfucking vulture. Praying on his ass. The fool. The motherfucking fool. God said he was a motherfucking fool. Clarify this two wands. Yeah, six of wands. This is um, public recognition. Uh, this is victory. He was waiting on some kind of victory in this situation that he was never going to get. Nine of swords and he ended up in the fucking hospital bed. You see him in the hospital bed? Nervous as fuck at the fact that this bitch poisoned him. And that he could possibly motherfucking die. He was fighting for his fucking life. He was fighting for his life. Definitely fighting for his life. Because this bitch tried to set him up with magic. Magician. And he got karma for not listening to Divine Feminine. Okay. Let me clarify. This, um... This Ace of Swords and the Lovers. Look, we got the Ace of Swords right here as I split the deck. And we got the King of Cups. This Divine Masculine found out the motherfucking truth. For real. Ace of Swords and the Lovers. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. He realized who the fuck was who in this situation. We got three people. This is the Divine Feminine trying to shine the light on... This bitch right here who's fucking, who's fucking um, lying to his ass and he over here listening to this bitch. You see how he got his ear tilted over to her, to her, like he listening to her, but she's shining the light like, bitch, look, look at this bitch next to you. Stop fucking putting your ear to her fucking lips. Look at the bitch. The bitch is a fucking demon in disguise, but you want to, want to be, be wooed by these superficial things. She got on a motherfucking polka dot motherfucking thing. You over here looking at the polka dots. You ain't looking at this bitch and her intentions. And look, look where look where it got him. Five of cups and grief, sadness, loss. Because he wanted to be entertaining third party shit. And then the hierophant wanted to show itself. This is a spiritual lesson. He had to learn his spiritual lesson. This is karmic lesson, like I told y'all. Clarify this eight of cups, eight of wands. Yeah, he's blocking her off now. And moving forward. Because he realized this bitch was... Look, how friend came back out. How friend came back out. It's a spiritual lesson. He realizing the spiritual lesson in this. And he's ready to get on the road to the path to... To... Um, enlightenment. We're going to get into this bitch now. Because I know this bitch is up to something now that he knows. Yeah, she's watching. Page of Swords. She's watching this man walk away from her. Clarify this. Um, and I feel like now that she knows that he knows about this shit, this is why she's coming to you as a woman. This is why she wants to come and um, talk to you. I'm going to put the video on here, but it's um, talking about the Divine Masculine's, um, the Divine Masculine's karmic is coming to you as a woman. Leave that bitch on red, okay? Really, leave that bitch on red. <laughs> because she's just coming here with negative intentions to still try to stop this relationship. But now she's coming to you because she can no longer fuck with him. <sighs> Clarify this two of wands and the six of wands. And the six and the two of wands is is eight of wands. He was waiting on some kind of victory to move to move forward in this situation, but then he realized that shit. That shit wasn't going nowhere. Clarify this um, two of wands and six of wands. Yeah, he found out the truth. King of swords about this betrayal. Ten of swords. Simple as day. He got betrayed. He was waiting. 
He was waiting for the Ten of Pentacles. He wanted to have a build a family with this bitch, but this bitch was only trying to take him and run him dry of his finances. She was trying to kill him. Look, she was only focused on the money. Queen of Pentacles. She was only focused on the money. She was toxic as fuck. She was a demon. A straight motherfucking demon. If it's not motherfucking clear today, this bitch is materialistic. And she was trying to bind the divine masculine to her through sex. King of Wands, this is a sexual active man, sexually active man. She was doing it through sex and causing him to not see certain shit and keeping shit hidden. The moon, illusions right here. Yeah, and had him waiting. He knew which direction what he wanted to go in. But he turned his back. He turned his back on this on the divine feminine and was looking at this other bitch who was waving the motherfucking wand in his face. He didn't choose the divine feminine. He chose confusion and illusion. And he got himself caught up. Because he thought he was going to have happiness there. But no, sir. No, sir. Mr. Sir, please turn around. <laughs> please turn around because that bitch had a whole bunch of shit hidden. And you missed out on the opportunity of love that was being offered to you. Not saying you're still going to miss out on an opportunity. Maybe some divine feminists may take you back. Maybe some divine feminists may, may not. But that's on them to choose. But we all have a mission here. It's bigger than fucking the third dimensional shit that we're doing. It's, it's either you choose love or you choose burdens. And he chose burdens. He chose to be in this burdensome situation. Um, Divine Feminine, I know you worked hard getting to this point. You know, you, you gave him several chances, but it's, it was it was also lessons that you had to learn in in dealing with dealing with someone. It's it's all about learning your bound how to set boundaries, healthy boundaries, and learning how to love unconditionally and also knowing your motherfucking worth and knowing not to waste your time on anybody who ain't trying to give you that energy that you're putting out. But it's also, I also realize it's also about not being in your ego as well, not letting the ego get the best of you when shit is not working for you. You have to realize we was put in this flesh to, to for, for a bigger mission than just fucking love or being with a, with a, with the divine masculine now. Uh, those of us who have a divine partner, we're supposed to break these curses. We're supposed to come here and do what we have to do because we've done this before. But every time we've done this, we haven't, we haven't, we we were stuck in a in a place where somebody wasn't trying to learn a lesson. And it's time for all of us to learn the lessons so we can come together and so we won't have to live another life on this motherfucking planet you know so we can go into a higher dimension because the earth is a is, is 3d it's literally 3d this is the third dimension and this is the low lowest vibrational um place that we're in once we ascend higher, we leave this body, these bodies behind and we go to a higher realm where we do other things, you know, where we actually work in the spiritual realm and no longer working on this third dimensional realm, which is cool. Life is a gift. Being able to be in this flesh and feel and touch and taste and have these senses that we have, it's a gift that God gave us. And that's why we was brought here. But we were also brought here for a a, a, a divine mis mission we weren't just brought here and sent here just to fucking play a fucking round now we can we gonna act the motherfucking fool but first we have to learn the lessons and do the work in order to act a motherfucking fool and have motherfucking fun on this planet now it's not all about being serious it's all about being fun and being creative and doing what we need to do on this earth so we can make this a better place because we have a lot of evil shit and wicked shit going on so that's why our mission is to break these curses and leave a legacy behind so when our children's children are born they can still continue the mission and be on the be on the path always be on the path to enlightenment and they will already know what the darkness looked like because we broke those curses and we taught them how to live on this planet so they can teach their children how to live on this planet 
because like I said, it's third dimensional. And if you don't do the work here and you choose to stay behind and stay stagnant and lose focus, you keep yourself cursed and the devil can take over your body and jump bodies at that through your family and do wicked ass shit and put wicked ass demons on them. There's so many demons that's out there. All right, so let's get into what this, let's see how this, um, how this karmic is feeling. I don't want this video to be super long. Let's see how this karmic is feeling and what she's up to next. How is she feeling? How is the Divine Masculine Karmic feeling? Empowered. Encouraged. Receptive. We have inspired. And we have higher self. She feels guilty as fuck. I felt like while she was doing this, she was empowered, she was encouraged, she was inspired to do this, right? That's that's her higher self was trying to I don't I don't think it was her higher self for real. I honestly think it was these demons talking to her. Clarify this higher self. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. She was thinking about money, King of Swords. I, this is the masculine's higher self. This is the masculine. He's empowered and encouraged to move on. He's accepting to what the divine feminine was trying to say to him now. Yeah, because what he was once blocking his higher self off. So this is not her feelings. This is his feelings. Because like I said, the divine masculine is in her energy as well. Um, so he has he's inspired to move forward and to maybe even write a letter because of this tower moment that they that he's just had on him. Um, clarify this empowered. Yeah, we got Page of Cups. He's he's empowered to come forward and apologize because he know he fucked up. He know he fucked up. These burdens got he got hit in the motherfucking head. Spirit, your ancestors hit this motherfucker upside the head. Said, nigga, you gonna learn this motherfucking lesson today. Clarify this encouraged. Yeah, he's encouraged to be in his strength now. Uh, we have and to move forward to tell his speak his truth. Because you got the Knight of Swords. Usually the Knight of Swords talks about being in his ego. But I feel like, yeah. He wants to speak his truth because he's upset. Yeah, he's upset. We have Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles. You was trying to offer him the knowledge about this deception that was going down, right? And now he's 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 he was placed under judgment when he got sent to the hospital. Um... And now he wants to move forward because like I said in the reading, if he didn't listen to what you were saying, he ended up putting himself in a bond where he actually got sent to the hospital. Um, yeah, he was selfish. He realized he was selfish in this situation until he got to the point where his life was on the motherfucking line. Clarify this um, receptive. Yeah. He's accepting the truth for what it is about the illusions. He's accepting it for what it is. Clarify the two, yeah, the hermit. He's tapping into his higher self and he's accepting the lies and the truth for what it is. And he's seeing where he went wrong in the situation. He's accepting it. He's accepting his wrongs. It says open, accepting, and welcoming, receptive. He is, he is accepting what has happened because he realized his ego got the best of him and he got caught up in a situation where he could have motherfucking died. Death is, a, death is an illusion, but um, you will have to understand that you will under have to you will have to understand your the you will have to learn and see that depth is an illusion. I've been in a, this is a moment of transparency. I've been in a moment where I. Uh, attempted to commit suicide I could have I could have overdosed I made sure I had I took a lot of pills you know and I drank alcohol with it at that I was depressed as fuck but I felt myself going to sleep and I was going into a deep sleep and all of a sudden 
maybe I don't even know how long I was I felt like I was asleep but I woke up and ran to the bathroom and I threw up all that shit and that's when I broke down and I realized like it's not meant for me to leave like this it's not meant for me to to go like this you know God showed me that I'm here for a reason you know and I'm about to cry because this is emotional moment but it's just like we all been to had to experience certain things in our life to tell us like okay it's a bigger picture it's something that we have to do here um yeah clarify this inspired <laughs> y'all i got emotional <laughs> gotta rub my eyes start to tear up yeah, I got emotional, but yeah, it's like we're here for something bigger than just us and what we want on the physical realm, okay? We have a mission here, and we have to complete that mission because we chose to do that. And then as soon as we die and actually be taking out this flesh for good, God wants, to, wants you to be able to control yourself and handle yourself in the spiritual realm. But if you don't learn the lessons, you get stuck here and then you have to realize like damn i have to go back and realize a lesson i have to go back and do this shit all over again and you don't know when that's going to be and how long it's going to be you know because life and time is non-existent it's like it, it could be centuries from now before you get into another motherfucking flesh and then you have to sit there and watch your family struggle and shit on the other side that's why i our ancestors want us to break these curses and shit. Yeah, this card want to come back out. Page of Swords. Inspired. Somebody's watching you. They're watching you and they realize they were slow to offer you anything. So they're inspired to come forward. Clarify this Page of Swords and Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. They're seeing her for who she is as well. And they realizing that they got karma for it. Yeah. Six of Wands. Yeah, was a motherfucking fool thinking he was going to have victory there. Now, let's see how she she feels, because that's who we we trying to tap into. I think this bitch don't want us to tap into her energy. How does she feel, spirit, besides guilty? How is she feeling? Yeah, envious, disgusted. She, she's sick, not even disgusted. He's disgusted with her, but she's sick that her plan did not work. She's jealous and envious of the divine feminine and divine masculine's connection, and she feels unfulfilled and empty. This bitch don't want me to tap into her energy, but we tapping into her energy today. <laughs> She's bored and uninterested with her life, and she feels trapped. Yeah, because you fucked up. Anything else she's feeling, spirit? Yeah, she's hateful. She's hateful, and she's curious. We're going to see why. She's curious. Yeah, she's unsure which direction to go in now. On the bottom of the deck, karmic. That's exactly what she is. This bitch is confused. And guilty. And look, ashamed. She's ashamed of herself and now she's in a motherfucking panic. Take these, because Spirit said so. Okay, let's take these out. But the Divine Masculine... Is, is hoping that things could work out. If he come in to plant more seeds in this situation, so he's 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 coming, he's getting he's he's getting his ducks in a row and trying to figure out what the fuck he's going to do. Let's see why what she's curious about. Nine of Swords. She has an anxiety because she took this motherfucking risk. Why is she curious? Hierophant. Knight of Cups. She's curious if she's going if if. Hmm. Nobody's not touched.
Yeah, he's, she's curious now if he's coming to you. She's curious to see if she's coming back to the, if he's if he's about to come and make this offer towards you. Yeah, the divine masculine, King of Cups. She's 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 praying on him. The devil. She's trying to see if he's going to invest in you, and she's she's having anxiety about that. That's what she's curious about because now she realized she caused all these burdens and she can't take none of that shit away. It took a lot of t it took a lot. Of, she did a lot to him. She damaged a lot in this connection she had with this divine masculine. Now she's she's curious to know if you guys are going to be in a commitment, if he's running to you. And she's maybe also curious if you're single. Yeah, because she knows she's about to get left out, in the, out outside the motherfucking club, Five of Pentacles. This is my left outside the club card, okay? Left outside the motherfucking club and she wants to rush forward in her ego trying to fucking say some shit. That's why I said leave that bitch on red because she's mad. She's mad because she's not you, for one. She's mad because the divine masculine does not want her. She's mad because she doesn't have the capabilities and the qualities that you offer the divine masculine. Yeah, all she give a fuck about is money. Okay, let's see. Why is she in a panic? Why is she panicking, spirit? Queen of Cups. Temperance. To a soul. She doesn't know which direction to go in. Uh, she's curious. I mean... Ace of Swords. She's panicking because the truth is out and she already knows what brings him happiness. She knows that he's about to get love. That's why she's panicking. Queen of Cups, she, she knows that the Divine Feminine is, is nurturing and loving and caring. And she knows how to put keep her emotions in check. And she has God on her side. Temperance right here. Two of Swords, she, she's... Uh, clarify this Two of Swords. Two of Cups, King of Wands. She doesn't know what to do when it comes to this man. Yeah, Five of Wands, but start because of this conflict. She doesn't know what to do because she started this conflict and she doesn't know how to get herself out of this situation. And he's not going to have sex with her no more. King of Wands, this is, like I said, sexually active man, but now he ain't worried. He ain't thinking about sex. He at war now. He got his stick up, ready to fight. He's in warrior mode now. That's exactly what he's in in this situation. And now she doesn't even know what direction to go in. Two of swords, she's blind on what to do. Yeah, and she's waiting, going, trying, and she's trying to figure out what, what to do because the death didn't work. The death did not work. Trying to commit him to, to get him to die or to hurt him to force him. She can fucking play on his um sickness and weakness. He's leaving this bitch. Three, three, three. I just seen. Okay, clarify the star. Yeah. She knows the truth about the divine feminine. Eight of swords. She was once blind to her gifts and what she can do. But she really see now who the fuck she really is. And now she's in a panic. Yeah, because she missed the opportunity on stealing the divine masculine away from her. Three, 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 three. I just seen 33, 33. Look up that um synchronicity. Um, clarify this King of Wands. Yeah, she doesn't know which way to go in because um the divine masculine is in his strength, but um yeah, and and the divine feminine and divine masculine has now tamed the beast. Now they're 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 investing in taming the beast. You see the strength here, and you have the lion. This lion, to me, when I see it, I look at it as, as devilish energy. But this infinite strength that we have is taming this beast here, and it's like we're investing in putting this toxic energy in the, in, in in its place. And now these people who are toxic, who are wicked, are like this with the demons on their back. 
and she's panicking because the demons are on her back, on her head, because God is on the divine being side always, like his, like it has always been. But these people have doubted. Um, um, let's see this envious. What is she envious of? This connection, divine union, simple as, simple as day. Now, let's see what her next moves are, and then I'm going to end this reading. What is this karmic's next move? What is this karmic's next move? Actually, I'm going to use this other deck. What is this karmic's next move? Eight of Pentacles, this working on something. What is this karmic's next move? Yeah, Ten of Cups, trying to get this family back together. What is the karmic's next move? Yeah, Two of Swords, but she doesn't even know where to fucking start. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> yeah, Page of Swords. She's lurking, trying to find something. Yeah, she's lurking. What's this karmic's next move? Yeah, three of cups. She's lurking and trying to figure out what she can do. Knight of cups. Two of pentacles, but she's struggling. And she's, she's struggling because she's getting karma. This karma has her stuck. Yeah, page of wands. She wants a new beginning. But she's too codependent and she doesn't listen to her intuition. She's blocked. Her intuition is blocked off. So whatever she tries to do is not going to be the right move. Regardless, five of cups, she's going to end up in sadness and grief because he's not coming back. He's not coming back. And if she tries to place a kid on him and it could be a son, a boy, if she tries to place a kid on him and had him in a situation because um, she lied and said a kid was his. And he found out that the baby wasn't his. Yeah, she's going to be sitting there taking care of that kid. And she's going to be sitting in regret about how she tried to kill this nigga. You see, she's sitting in the motherfucking graveyard. This is her mind and her consciousness. Consciousness on how she tried to kill this man. And look, we got uh, a man right here peeking. The Divine Masculine like, bitch, I'm leaving you. It's, this is like her thought of the Divine Masculine being dead. Bitch, you tried to kill me. You think I'm going to ever take you back? You got me fucked up. Yeah, eight of swords. She's going to be mentally trapped. Five of swords. She's going to be mentally trapped. This bitch is delusional. And she thought the divine masculine was going to take the bait. He was a motherfucking fool. Yes, he was. He was a fool. But he also had strength. And he also had God on his side, giving him this new beginning. He just had to learn this hard motherfucking lesson and get his motherfucking self in order. And stop fucking being blinded to the motherfucking truth. Because his nine of cups are right here. His wish fulfillment. His personal wish fulfillment on what type of woman he would want to be with. Is right here. Yeah. But him being in and out got him fucked up. But yeah. She doesn't know what to do. But. Whatever decision she tries to make, which is coming to you to try to ruin some shit, that's the only thing, only option she has now. Try to come to you to get you to think think of him in a different aspect. But that's on you to believe the lies or not, you know? So, yeah. I feel like the divine masculine was in despair at the fact that he not, did not, didn't believe you. And she's in despair now that he knows and now that he's leaving her. And she's envious. All right, that's all I have for y'all. Peace.